stop paying for DocuSign. If you're an entrepreneur, you're probably gonna need to get documents signed at some point. Well, I found a lifetime deal on a tool that can save you thousands of dollars so you never have to pay for document signing again. Document signing is expensive. Tools like DocuSign or PamDoc can cost you anywhere from $15 to $65 per month. But the tool I'm gonna share with you can be purchased one time for a ridiculously low price so you never have to pay for it again. This deal will be going away soon, so if you think you ever need a tool like this, then keep watching and consider picking this one up. But the question is, can this tool really compare while being so cheap? Well, I'm going to show you this cheap alternative and how it compares to DocuSign so you can decide for yourself if it's worth picking up or not. So the tool I'm going to be sharing with you today is called BunnyDoc. It's a digital signature app designed to streamline your document signing process. You can find it on AppSumo right now for $69. If you've never used AppSumo before, essentially it's just a marketplace that allows you to be able to buy softwares at a really great price. You can see that BunnyDoc is an alternative to things like Adobe Sign, DocuSign, HelloSign, PandaDoc, any of those digital signature platforms. Now the deal on AppSumo has three different plans. You could do the basic plan, which is plan one for $69 and this is going to give you all of the features above such as lifetime access to bunny doc and you're going to be able to send 500 signature requests per month you can add one team member to your account one public form link custom branding audit trail reminder and notifications folders reusable templates bulk sending advanced fields in-person signatures a google drive dropbox OneDrive integrations and it's also aatl compliant now, if you decide to go for any of the higher tier plans, you're going to get more features. So the biggest thing with plan number two is that you get a thousand signature requests per month. You can add more than one team member, so you can add five team members and you get five public form links. And then plan three allows you to send 1500 signature requests per month with 10 team members and 10 public form links. Now, this is a tool that I've honestly been waiting for for quite a while because I've been paying for PandaDoc for my business and it's not cheap. It's actually really expensive. And there was a point where I had three different team members on my PandaDoc account and I was paying close to $1,000 a year to be able to have three people just to be able to access my one account and send signatures. So to be able to see a deal like this where you can just pay one time, let's say 207 and you can add up to 10 team members is really great. Any of the platforms that you're going to be using, such as like DocuSign, PandaDoc, whatever, the more team members that you add, the more expensive it gets. For example, on DocuSign, you can see here the standard plan is $45 per month per user. So if you have multiple team members, it's going to cost you a lot more. So checking out the website and clicking on the pricing section, you can see how much they plan on charging when this deal is not on AppSumo. And you can see that for the personal account, it's going to be $18 a month. And that gives you five templates and audit trail and just the basic features that would come with a digital signing tool. And then you can see here, if you do have more than one user that you plan on paying for, it's gonna be $35 a month. So the business plan on BunnyDoc is still cheaper than it is on DocuSign, but the big question is, how does BunnyDoc compare to a tool like DocuSign? Well, if we scroll down to the bottom, we can actually see that there's a comparison between all these different tools. So I'm gonna click on BunnyDoc versus DocuSign, and scrolling down, we can see what are the features that DocuSign has versus what BunnyDoc has. So things like legally binding signatures, obviously they both have this, templates they both have. One thing that BunnyDoc does not have is autofill data. So one of the convenient features of DocuSign is if somebody, let's say, enters their name, it can automatically post that name into every signature block. But for BunnyDoc, they have to manually go in and type in their name into each section. One thing that BunnyDoc does have that DocuSign doesn't is that it has a contract library. They both have custom branding. They're both AATL compliant. DocuSign does allow for multiple languages while BunnyDoc does not. Both of them allow for integrations. Both of them give real-time notifications. Both of them allow for in-person signing, multi-party signing, mass signatures, auto reminders, two-factor authentication, audit reports, and one thing that BunnyDoc has that DocuSign doesn't is proposal template library. One thing that BunnyDoc does not have is the ability to accept payments through the document signing tool. I honestly don't think that's really necessary though because that's a very niche thing to be requesting money through the document signing process. Typically you would invoice and receive the payment first before having them actually pay during the document signing process. Both of them do not have interactive quoting. Both of them allow for API access. BunnyDoc does not have a mobile application, which again is 
not really a big deal because people are typically just gonna be receiving the documents in their email anyways. And then both of them have 24 seven customer service. So looking at all the features between the tool, there's not that big of a difference between let's say BunnyDoc and DocuSign, but let's actually take a look inside of BunnyDoc and see how it feels and what is it like using the tool. All right, so when we log into the tool, we can see here that we have envelope, template, and then link. So what envelope allows you to do is to be able to just sign or send a signature request. Template, as the name suggests, allows you to be able to create a template, which can then just be duplicated. And then what link allows you to do is to be able to create a template and then just share that link on let's say your website and whenever somebody clicks on that link it'll pull up the form and they can fill out whatever your contract is and then it will automatically send it to you so it's just a very convenient way to be able to share a document and not have to send a custom one to every single person so i'm going to click on envelope and show you what the process is like when you are trying to create a document sign so clicking on envelope we're just going to click on upload file and then we can put in whatever our file is like that. And then recipients, I'm just going to send it for myself for this example. If we wanted to add two people, we can add in more recipients. As you can see, I can just keep on adding more people. And then if I need to delete anybody, I can just go in and delete any of the extra users. I'm just going to have one person signing this document, and then we can change the title of the email that will be sent to them. So I'm just going to say lease agreement, clicking on next. Now you can see we have our contract pulled into here. And on the left, we have all the different types of fields that we can fill. Over here, it says me now. So this is what you would be putting in. So let's say I scroll down to the bottom and I needed to put in my signature. I'm just going to click on this and drag it over and then I can put in my signature just like this. So now I can create my signature and I can change the size if I want. I can move it around to wherever it needs to be. I'm also going to put the date here and I'm just gonna drag that over and put today's date. Now for the other party, I would just click on where it says me now and then put in whoever needs to actually sign this. The person that's gonna be signing is gonna be the tenant and I'm just gonna drag this out so that way it takes up the space and then I want them to also put in the date that they are gonna be signing this. I'm gonna go back over to me now and then if I need to put any text in I can just drag this text over and I could say accepted this 10th day of March now if I want to change the size I can just go over to the right and click on the formatting and then I'm just going to change the size of this text to be a little bit bigger just like that I'm gonna add another text box into here and then we're just gonna say March and then I'm just gonna add one more little text box here and then say 24 now that my contract is complete, I can either click on save as draft if I need to go back in and edit it, or I can just click on send. Over here, we can see a little settings option, and this allows us to be able to customize our document even more, setting things like an expiry date. So if you don't want this contract to be able to be signed indefinitely into the future, we can change the date when it expires, or we could say days after a specific date. If we want to send reminders, we can click on recursive reminders and then set the first reminder, let's say one day into the future. And then once everything looks good, just click on save. And now I'm going to send my document. So immediately I received an email saying to review and sign a document. And you can see that the email says lease agreement. So if I click on review and sign, it's going to pull up the document just like this. On the top right, it says get started. And all we need to do is click where it says, and I can either draw my signature or I can type my signature in. And then just like that, it is put our signature and then I can just click on whatever the date is today. One of the biggest things that I noticed with BunnyDoc versus a tool like PandaDoc, for example, is that the formatting is just a little bit wonky. So I just put in the date and you can see here that it's a little bit cut off. It's not showing the full year. And that's probably because I didn't extend the date out a little bit further. So if I maybe stretch the date out, it would have shown the full date. So it's just an intuitive thing with the document signing tool that's a little bit annoying. But for me, because you're able to save so much money using this tool, I think that it's worth it just putting up with a little thing like this. When everything looks good, all you need to do is press finish and then I agree. And then it says that the document has been signed and then it gives us the option to download this document so that way the person can just have a copy on hand. So after the document's been signed, I received an email saying that the lease agreement was completed and then I'm gonna get another email where I can download the final document and then you can see here that it was signed. When I log back into BunnyDoc and go to the envelope section, I can see all of the different documents by clicking on all envelopes. 
and I can see that this document was completed. Clicking on options, I'm just gonna scroll down and I can click on audit trail. And this is where the primary function of a document signing tool comes in, where we can see that it was sent, it was viewed, it was agreed, and it was signed. All of these are timestamped. That way we have a very transparent history of this document. If I click on download document, I can then click on audit trail, a certificate of completion. I'm just gonna download that and then we can open that up and see what it looks like. And this is what the audit trail has. It has things like when it was sent, when it was viewed, when it was signed, when it was completed. So this is a great way to be able to help you with showing proof of purchase. Clicking on templates, as the name suggests, just allows you to be able to create a template of a document. So let's say you're creating a contract and you wanted all the same fields to be on a specific place within that document. You can then create a template and it's just going to keep everything formatted the same way. Links is really cool because it allows you to be able to create a document and then anybody that clicks on the link can then fill out that document automatically. So just going in and you're going to upload your file and then the title, let's just say this is lease. Now we're going to go in and we'll be able to input the sections that we want to be filled out. So I'm just going to click on signer and this is where the signer, the person has to go in. So we can just go in and add whatever we want to this form. Once everything looks good, we can just click on save. And now we have our URL. Once you create your link and share it with somebody, it'll take them to a screen like this. So I can just say whatever your name is and then submit. And then it's going to say action required, follow instructions in the email. Now as a signer, I've received the document so I can click on review and sign. I'm gonna click on get started and then click on sign. You can put in your name and whatever the date is and then finish, I agree. And then you as the owner will receive an email like this that says the envelope created by a public form link was signed by a new person. When I go back into BunnyDoc, I can see the new document is here and it was signed. And then clicking on the audit trail, I can see the history of when it was sent, viewed, agreed, and then signed as well. So obviously I like this tool because I've been looking for something like this and it has a really good lifetime deal on it. If the deal is no longer on AppSumo, sometimes they do come back, but there is no guarantee that we'll be able to see this deal again. So if you are considering this, then I'd suggest picking it up right now. But if it's not available on AppSumo anymore, I'll include a link in the description that will have the best price available. Sometimes these deals do have lifetime offers on the site directly. So if there is anything like that available, I will include that link in the description. That way you can pick this deal up yourself. If you like this deal, then watch this video next where I share a lifetime deal on a tool that can generate hundreds of Pinterest pins automatically.